Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Heard Sudoku on Tuesday, August 6th, 2024. There are no repeat digits in the top three rows, and in fact, I have nothing in either row one or in region two, and this is the first time I've been faced with a grid like that in a while. In the middle three rows, I can place an eight in row four. And I'll get a 2 that's actually placed in region 6. There are 1, 2, 3 digits looking into it. Which can then follow on to place in column 9. But 2 and 8 are the only repeats in the middle three rows. In the bottom, I again can place a 2. But, oh, I can place a 1, I think. One of those, unfortunately, three. So that doesn't help me any that I can see. If I switch by columns now, there are one, two, three digit sixes looking into region seven. I can place it one and then follow on with six in row nine. There's a two and a three here. So two and three have to go in those spots. But this Okay, two can be in any of those three. Three, however, is only two of those spots, not three. So I do not have a hidden pair here. This one and this one actually force a one right there. In the middle columns, I have one each of two, four, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I have nothing useful. But those two fives force it here, and those twos force it there, so... 2, 5, and column 9 is now a hidden pair. And these two 8s, 4 and 8, in row 8. Now, uh, those 4 are the only ones. So 8 can be in a lot of spots. Now, looking at the middle section of the grid and the left three columns. Row five has six digits in it. The only ones I'm missing are one, five, and seven. And they form a triple. Which is not resolved in column or rather, region 4, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. I need 5, 7, 8, 9. Well, 5 and 8 can't go here. They must go there. So, these two are 5 and 8. These two are 7 and 9. Just like that, the region's done. I now have 2, 5, 7, 8, 9 in row 6. I need 1, 3, 4, and 7. This is one three seven that ugh, oops wrong thing can go there okay nine can't go here so it must go there let's see seven nine rolls the rest of this out for me a seven and I did not scan the grid somewhere because where does a six go? Okay, one, three, four, and six. That makes more sense. Now I think this row is correct. Uh, column seven has two, three, five, eight. I need one, four, six, seven, and nine. That one is down to one, six, seven. That one can be four of them. Two, three, four, five, eight. So these two are also from one, six, seven, nine. Uh, let's see. That's not helpful. This can't be one, but could be any of the other four. Let's see. This and those two can't be four. 
from the crossing of 4 in row 8 in column 9, so one of those two must be a 4. One, two, five, eight. I need three, four, six, seven, nine to fill out the rest of column eight. That highlighted digit can be any of them. Be three of them. Unfortunately, this is no help. Uh, what about row eight? One, two, four, six, eight. Okay, I'm left with three, five, seven, and nine. Well, that one can only be two of the odd digits. C is one and three. It can be the rest. Oh, that can't be one or seven or nine. And this can't be one or five. Okay, that's not helpful either. One, two, three, six, nine. I need four, five, seven, and eight for the rest of column one, but that one is anything. That one can't be five. That one can't be seven. And so I have no help. This is four, seven, eight, nine, because it can't be five. Okay, one, two, three, seven, four, five, six, eight, nine, but neither can be four or six. This can't be four, five, or eight. That is down to six or nine. Well, this started off well and isn't turning out so good. Row two, I have that configuration. Those can't be four or nine. I have at least some cleanup on all the other digits. Unfortunately, not enough to give me a good bird's eye view of what's going on. This is three, four, nine. Okay, this can't be nine either. Okay, this is everything but four. Two more five eight. Okay, this is from one. Okay, this is going to be three seven nine. Okay, the easiest thing to see is where does one go in column nine? Those can't be one by the box. This isn't one by place. That's a derived pair. There's only one space for the digit 1 in the column. That should do at least a little bit of good. Those aren't 7. Neither is that. Neither is that. And this isn't 7 either. Let's see, these aren't 1. 3, 4, 6 turns into a triple in region 5, which places another 7. Okay, um, next. Four, six, seven. So one, two, three, five, eight, nine. Okay, these can't be one, two, three, six, nine. They are from four, five, seven, and eight, but I don't get any help, do I? Nothing whatsoever. This is three fourths of a four, five, seven, eight quadruple, but I can only take out one, four, six, and nine.
So that's no help. And I still have nothing at all for column two or even row one. Let's see, these can't be six, seven, eight. These aren't two or nine. Those are not four or seven. Okay, so I'm left with this configuration here, but those can't be three. So where do three go in rule four? It goes there, which rules that cell out from being a three. It's a four. Places that as a four. Let's see, those aren't four, and do I have much help after that? Not really. I did nothing on the left third of the grid, did I? And this cell, even after getting to this point, could still be seven different candidates. Hmm. Six here doesn't do anything useful. Three there no longer does anything useful. Uh, what I was not seeing was this. 259. Early on. That's a triple because 4 and 7 can only go in those cells. Now, that places that cell as 7. Let's see, what else can I do from that? Uh, quite a bit, actually. Uh, this is an 8. That's a four, that's forced to be a five. So this is seven, that's a nine. That's a three, this is a nine. That's six, so that's a four. Let's see, three, two, five, four, six, three, Eight, four, this can now only be a three. Two, three, and column three are done. Let's see, that's seven. This is three. Region nine is complete. Five and nine will complete row nine. Which makes this a two, that nine. This is a one, which makes that two, five, one, eight. One. This is going to be a relatively straightforward solve, despite me having to fill out the whole grid. And if I'd seen that triple, perhaps I would have gotten there a lot sooner. But thank you for joining me this afternoon. And 14 minutes. Now, this was more straightforward than I'd seen. That 259 triple basically unlocked the rest of the puzzle. Everything collapsed at that point.